guys I'm Bootsy welcome back to my channel I know I haven't been here for a while like it's been two years since the last time I posted a video welcome back if you've been here before and welcome to my channel if you're new I'm going to try to post more consistently at least once a week in 2021 I think we can all agree 2020 was not a good year for all of us at least most of us but even before the pandemic happened it wasn't a great year for me to start off with i had one of the worst panic attack of my life late 2019 or early 2020 i have a lot of physical pains caused by my mental health i don't know exactly what it is because i haven't gone to a psychologist yet which is going to be one of my goals in 2021 the thought of going to a therapy makes me anxious even before the pandemic but after the pandemic i was like no i'm not going to go and some chain of events happened in middle part to late october that helped me kind of break through break out of my bad mental state and since then i've been trying to change up my life doing things that I wasn't able to do before changing up my habits and these past two months I've been feeling a lot happier, a lot more free, a lot more calm and peaceful and my head just feels a lot more quiet and I will try to carry them for 2021 and me talking about it and sharing it here hopefully we will be able to help at least one of you to have a healthier, happier and overall a better year in 2021. I could not stress enough how important this is because if you have enough sleep and if you have a good quality of sleep, you will have a much better mood for the rest of the day, much better energy overall. And one thing that I noticed when I was in a bad mental state is I had a hard time going to sleep. And even when I go to sleep, no matter how short or how long my sleep period was, I always feel restless. I just never feel like I have energy left in my body. But I know it's one of the hardest things to change. If your schedule allows you to wake up at 6 a.m. and try to do that, if you can only wake up around 9 a.m., then go do that. But at least have enough sleep. Change your pillowcases and bedding regularly so that when you're in bed you will have a clean nicely fresh scented bed just make your bed as comfortable and as nice as possible it will definitely improve your sleep quality at least for me especially if you have trouble with your skin changing up your pillowcases is so important so when you're laying down like that it won't break your skin out I know it's kind of cliche because everyone talks about it like I used to be that way like why should I make my bed every day if I'm going to use that bed again at night like I don't really get the point of doing that every day but now I actually cannot step out of my room in the morning without making my bed because it makes you feel like you already accomplished something early on in the morning it will clean up your space a lot more in turn helps to boost your mood it actually helps me to not want to go back to bed during the day because i've cleaned it i don't want to ruin it i'm just gonna use my desk and when i sit in my desk it helps me be more productive it seems like it's such an unimportant thing to do but maybe try it see if you like it see if it changes anything for your day and maybe it will i don't realize how many stuff that i have here in my space that i never even touch my room feels so cluttered and full i don't know who said it but it said that to allow new things and new energy good energy to come into your space you have to let some of things some of the bad things go i don't know if that's true or not but for me personally it helps improve my energy my mood changing up your surrounding and my next tip is drinking enough water. I know this is a, such a huge bottle. This can fit two 
liters of water i don't know how many of that in ounces so i just fill this up in the morning i just have to focus myself to drink the whole bottle during the day make sure that i have enough water intake for the day it helps with your digestion let go of toxin freshen up your body if you have dry skin it helps to moisturize your skin from within as if you have dry hair like me if you love snacking and drinking sugary drinks just have a glass of water or sip on this bottle and it will fill you up temporarily cutting out sugary drinks water helps but i don't like sugary sweet snacks or like i never really crave them but i love sugary drinks like lemon tea or boba drink or coffee with a lot of sugar oh it's just water it's just drinks so that's nothing but i actually have so many sugar for a day because of that and i didn't even notice that and now i cut out sugar i actually feel so much better in my stomach i don't feel bloating as much i feel like my skin is in a much better condition i do have pcos and i have trouble losing weight my doctor said it's one of the most important thing for me is to control and balance my weight so that i can balance my hormones and cutting out sugar actually helps me lose weight make my own meal eat healthy have fun with it i actually eat a lot of junk food before and i eat way too much red meat msg and just unnecessary products for my body and i try to cut out produced products like chicken nuggets or sausage if you can cut something out completely out of your life just find a healthier substitute for example i love pasta instead of not having pasta i just change up my pasta to a gluten-free pasta or to a spinach pasta and also by making your own meal you know exactly what food what ingredients are in that meal and you can customize them to fit your own diet to fit your own need and it's actually fun making my own meal cooking them it's like a break time in the middle of the day and do it intuitively don't just listen to whatever everyone else is doing just because this kind of food is better for me that doesn't mean it will fit it will fit you so maybe go to a doctor first and see what kind of food is good for you and if you can go to a doctor it leads up to my next habit write down what you eat just write down the type of food not the calorie intake i mean you can write down the calorie but for me personally it's not a healthy habit to have if you focus only on calorie there are so many foods that have low calories but actually not beneficial for you so i always write down what it is that i was eating that day you can look back and see how you feel after that meal if you feel bloated if you feel uncomfortable in your stomach it's very helpful for you to recognize what it is good and what's bad for you it also helps me to control my snacking habit because i tend to over snack over eating something just small little things and i don't even realize how much i eat them until it was too late i personally don't do intermittent fasting but i schedule my meal so i have my breakfast around 7 for example my lunch at 12 pm and my dinner around 6 pm and then have snacks in between spacing them out like that helps your body to digest your previous meal before you eat the next meal you allow your body to work properly at least that's what my doctor told me So the key to this is just to make a journal that fits your need and doesn't overwhelm you. If you don't like bullet journaling, that there's so many options that you can do. Maybe just write down all the things you need to do. Or you can also use your Google Calendar for example. A lot of people like to use Notion nowadays. It helps declutter and empty out your mind a little bit. Because of my mental health, 
I have trouble remembering things nowadays and to write them down in a piece of paper or whatever you write them down on your phone you'll be able to see okay these are the things that I need to do you can plan ahead if you make to do list listing them down and scratch them off as you finish the task is very satisfying sometimes you've done a lot of things that day and you will feel like oh my god I've done nothing today but if you write them down and scratch them off you'll be able to see just how much it is that you've actually done that day in my journal I also track my mood now I'm able to look back and see how my progress is for the month looking back at my bad day and see what it is that caused them and it also actually helps me process those thoughts, those moods for the day. I know it's not gonna be for everyone, but it's just a little thing to help your mental state. Blocking times for all the things you need to do. You can block them by hours and by day. For example, set a day aside for only cleaning day, cleaning your room, do the laundry of another day, focusing on self-care, bath routine, watching Netflix, watching movies that you like, and then have a day full of boring tasks like maybe check your emails, do some boring paperwork or I don't know budgeting, set aside a day for specific tasks that are in the same category and then also blocking your time during the day, do the more boring tasks in the morning maybe after your workout you have more energy after your workout and then you can focus that on the things you are usually dreading to do for like two hours and then be done with it and then have lunch have a little bit of break and then focusing on the things that you need to do but more enjoyable because if i do the task that i don't want to do during night time it will make me feel stressful and in turn i won't be able to go to sleep and that's exactly what i did a few months back I know that it's going to be very hard to do when you're in that bad mental state but once you get out of it a little bit it will help you to be in a much better state for a lot longer when i'm painting it helps me zone out quiet the world a little bit and just focus on the things i love and it filled me with so much joy it relaxed me and learning new skill that i always wanted to do is makes me feel so accomplished i always want to learn to play piano i finally took the plunge and i've been learning piano for the past year and i love it it's kind of therapeutic for me the main thing about hobbies you do it when you want to and not force it so that it won't feel like a task work out at least three times a week it's something that i'm straight i'm still kind of struggling with i have very bad relationship before with food and working out because i used to only associate them with losing weight but now i changed and shifted my focus i just want to feel healthy to feel good and that actually helps me to have the will to work out because it can be very hard find the kind of workout that you enjoy it can be just as simple as walking around your neighborhood walking in a treadmill go on a bike there's a lot of video on youtube that you can follow so you can work out in the comfort of your house you will feel like you have so much energy it will help you be more productive it will actually help you to have a more restful sleep at night budgeting or just write the things you need to pay monthly sometimes you don't realize how many bad things or bad choices you, you've made until you see it in a piece of paper you look back and you realize like wow i actually spent so much money on a lot of unnecessary things i need to pay my piano lesson classes i need to pay netflix or spotify or something like that if i don't write them down i, I sometimes forget it also helps you to save up more money actually spare some money to donate each month i mean 
don't just do it because you want to feel good but do it because you want to help people and you want to help a good cause aside from that for your own benefit I found that every time I donate money I just feel like I accomplish something I feel matter I help change something for the better and I feel more grateful for what I have actually because sometimes when you're feeling down you can only focus on all the things that you don't have how bad of a person I am and just focus on the negative you can just donate like a dollar a month or five dollar a month no matter how small or how big it is it matters and that's the most important thing because five dollars for you may sound like nothing but for someone out there it means a lot to them and if we all as a collective doing it five dollars from a hundred of us and it's like five hundred dollars that that's a lot spare some time for bath time or hot shower time or your hair care routine day it will help you unwind re-energize yourself it will kind of reset your mood reset your energy completely unwind and be present at that moment and enjoy it read some books i specifically read a chapter of a book per day it helps to quiet my thoughts a little bit i can't just focus on someone else's story and forget about mine doing it in small capacity but be fully in the moment you will take the most out of it do it whenever you have time to do it but for me personally meditating at night before i go to sleep helps me quiet my thoughts it helps you to actually go to sleep early but if you're doing it in the morning it will also helps you to set your intention for the day and imagine that you're going to have a good day it sounds easy and simple but it's actually very hard to do but little by little i feel like i'm getting the hang of it you can do it for two minutes five minutes i personally do it for 15 minutes uh, i'm going to link a video that i use for my meditation but if not you can just doing it in a complete silence or if it's quite hard for you to do then listen to um, instrumental music or just like a classical piano piece or something like that something that is relaxing focus on your breathing breathing in through your nose breathing out through your mouth and without even realizing it along the way you'll notice that it will suddenly feel so much quieter in that moment i actually felt alive and more in tune with my body and my thoughts gratitude journal it's one of those things that i've kind of resisted for a long while i was always like why are you doing that like what's the benefit of it when i was in a bad mental state i was like i don't have anything to be grateful for what are the things i'm going to write but lately I've been trying to do that, incorporate that into my life doing it before I go to sleep, you can also do it in the morning so I can look back on my day and instead of focusing on the negative things, negative thoughts, negative feelings that I have write down all the things that I'm grateful for is actually like therapeutic thing for me because I'm able to have a more positive outlook on my life it can be as easy or as simple as you know I'm grateful for my meal that day or you can be as des descriptive as you want it helps to shift your perspective on life have a better mindset and put you in a much better positive vibration it just helps you feel a lot more happy a lot more joyful a lot more peaceful and in tune with your body your thoughts and your mind a lot more it's something that i've actually done when i was a teenager when i was much younger but for some reason i stopped doing it i'm trying to go back at it again and specifically doing scripting even if you don't believe in manifestation scripting is actually very therapeutic you need to focus on what it is that you want but write them down as if it already happened to you if you feel like 
you're not excited about life you don't feel excited about waking up in the morning doing this actually makes me feel a lot more excited i'm just looking forward for the future and that's i think one of the most beneficial thing for my mental health the manifestation is going to be an extra added bonus and that's last habit that i've been doing let me know what is your own habit that you will be doing in 2021 so that we can have 21 habits share them down below and my hope for 2021 is for all of us as a collective to have a better year than 2020 because i mean we all know how 2020 went i hope the world will be in much better state this year i will be posting my desk tour next and reorganization if you want to see that make sure to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching i hope i can see you in my next video bye guys